What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, acting like Bob the Builder. I am about to make some custom frames for my uh, stairway. So I wanna do three big frames. I got some prints that I'm gonna show you guys. But first, I need to make the frames. Never done this before, as with every other thing that I've done on this channel. But you know, I don't limit myself. So we're gonna try. So first, I have some wood. I put all the specs to everything in the description box because I honestly can't remember what I got. But I got some like, I think these are like one by twos and I got them cut. And then I got some plywood also cut and I got this cut to um, 24 by 36. So like standard poster size. So yeah, I need to make my frame first. And yeah, so let's do it. So I know one of the pieces was slightly too long for my like width part, so I'm gonna have to cut those. So this edge piece is a little long here, so I'm going to mark where I will need to cut that. So this step, you guys, is more so if you didn't get them cut to the right dimensions that you needed ahead of time, um, whether you're getting that cut at the store or not. But luckily I do have some cutting tools at home so I just marked where I wanted to cut them. Um, used my, I guess, clamp to clamp it to the table since I'm doing this by myself. And then I just took a ruler to line it up to make sure that I would be cutting at a straight angle. And then I just used my jigsaw and cut straight across at my marking. If you don't have a jigsaw or any other like power cutting tool, you can always use a miter box. This is like, I think like $9 from a hardware store and it comes with a hand saw and you can just, or a miter saw, whatever, you know, a hand miter saw and you can just cut by hand. It just takes a little bit more manpower. Also watch your fingers when doing this. I know I'm not being like the most safe person, but then I just line up all of the pieces um, at their corners and then take my nailer to nail the pieces together. I think what's cool about this DIY is that you can do it by yourself. It does, you know, take a little time to make sure that you're holding both pieces together, but it's definitely possible. So it's a super easy and very nice DIY that you can do all alone. You'll see I ended up moving down to the floor just because my table didn't have enough space. <laughs> um, and I also grabbed myself a little glove to act like I'm actually being safe now. But uh, yeah, just finishing up nailing all the pieces together so that it is stable when I want to nail it to my plywood. After that, I did have some nails that were poking out, so I just took a hammer and like flushed them together so that they weren't poking out. Next, I just sanded down the pieces just a bit so that um, I would have a smoother finish for the stain. Um, so I just took a piece of sandpaper and I also have a sanding block to rub against some of the edges and along the sides of the wood. So this part can get a little messy, but just taking some Minwax paint stain in the color Espresso um, and using a, I guess like staining sponge, I don't know, but I did mix it around because some of the, the stain would like clump together at the bottom. Um, but yeah, you can just dip in the sponge and use that to easily apply the stain to surfaces. So this is my first time really applying stain um, for an actual project opposed to like existing furniture. So I didn't really know what I was doing, but it seemed to work out well. So let me know what you think.
So this is what it looked like completed. I liked the, you know, not distressed look, but not completely perfect look. Um, and I left it out overnight to dry before adding it to the plywood the following day. So I mentioned this in a previous video, but on Etsy, you can actually go and purchase um, digital prints. So this print is actually the one that I used when I was talking about doing my phone screen um, and it came in different sizes and I just got it printed at my local Walgreens or CVS one of them one of them I think it was Walgreens um, for pretty cheap honestly for this large size and all I had to do was apply Mod Podge to all of my edges just so there weren't any bubbles um, to add some extra security before I nailed them down so I placed my frame on top just to make sure that it was sized properly. As you can see, there are some parts that are hanging off, um, but I did try to correct that at the end. For this part, I took my finishing nailer, which is um, not a cordless one like my other one, but it does the job of just putting in some finishing nails. So I did that around the entire perimeter just to secure everything in place. I did try to take my time and only nail in certain places first and then adjust as needed because I was able to shift things around just to make sure that it was in the exact position that I wanted it to be and that seemed to work for me. So I would definitely recommend or advise you to do the same if you do this DIY. For any of the parts hanging off, I took my exact knife or exacto knife, right? Yeah, my exacto knife and just tried to cut off some of the pieces as much as I could. This only worked for the parts that were actual like photo paper, but as far as like if there were any plywood hanging off, I just had to leave that as is. So then I flipped it over and that was the final product for the first one. It was so beautiful. Oh, so, so pretty and so easy. first one out of the way I basically followed the same exact steps for the second and third um, this was also a print that I got from Etsy and so I have two of those big ones that are kind of the leaf complementary ones for each other um, but for my third one I actually used an engineered print paper of this quote that I found online that I really liked um, and I just printed that this one was way cheaper to print than the prints so if you want to put something on engineer paper definitely can do that with like words some of the pictures might not be able to be printed on engineering paper but yeah this is how they all three came out together it looks so so pretty like I said this is going in my hallway um, so in the next clip you'll see me put it up on the wall and you'll see how it all came together that is the final product i hope you guys enjoyed if you try this diy definitely tag me and let me know um, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already and turn on your post notifications to be updated every time i upload and until next time i will see you guys later bye